Okay, we are back. We're going to fast forward the areas that um, are a little bit boring and uh, it's just um, a quick visual will we'll tell you what we're doing. Obviously, we're applying a heavy coat of height paste over it, uh, over the form. I usually like to cover the whole neck in this, in this part, not around the shoulders and not around the head or face, just around the neck. And I like to wrap some saran wrap around the face to make it slippery for when I'm pushing the skin all over the, uh, the mannequin. Covering up the areas because we're going to be working with some mache around the antler base, and um, we don't want it. We don't want the pieces of dried mache to fall between the mannequin and the skin. So the antler base has been cut and adjusted before. So um, we're just putting the screws in to hold it in and doing a quick job right now in the video of the mache work. We're going through it very fast because um, it's obvious what we're supposed to do. So we're trying to save some time in the video here. Okay, now all of them is said and done. We're gonna slow down the video here for you to see what we're doing. Of course, I'm going to slow down the areas that is in front of the camera, like the left eye, as you can see, you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing, but the right eye, again, is not right into the camera. So we're gonna fast forward through those part two and slow down in the areas that you can see something. So now, the eyes are getting installed. I like to push them into the eye socket with a little bit of a ball of clay behind the eyes. And with your flashlight, you just make sure the, uh, the pupil is pretty dark. You can't really see it. You have to put flashlight in it and make sure that the pupil is parallel to the floor, to the ground. And you follow the same procedure for the other eye and uh, to make sure even a tiny little bit matters to make sure that the eyes are 100% um, at the same level, use a level. Make sure that your eyes are not up and down. It can happen with a couple of millimeters that your eyes cannot see, but the level will tell you if your eyes are pretty good. But of course, you have to have the form um, attached to your stand fairly level too otherwise that's a misleading part so now I'm cleaning up and the face a little bit here first of all I like to fill up the areas the gaps that is uh, too much of a hollow area between the form and the eyes so I just fill that up first with little rolls of clay if you can see I'm just using my spatula just push it into the gaps just to give myself a good foundation quickly do the other side and come back to this side I'm trying to take the excess off Now with um, a medium size of uh, a roll of clay, medium size roll, we will build the uh, lower eyelid and then feather out the edges. Once again, this is a potter's clay. It's not any specific or a special type of clay. It's just a color that I can find around where I live. It's a little bit of a red color, so that doesn't really mean anything. It's just the color of the clay. So there are different colors available, but um, obviously this is this is a very easy one for me to find. So now we're working on the upper eyelid. As you see, I created that whole um, curve that uh, that you need to have on the upper eyelid 
right from the beginning. Most people like to do it twice, like put one eyebrow, I'm sorry, uh, put eyelid on top and then build up a little front muscle in front of the eye. But I just bent my clay roll and just do it in one shot. And uh, right now you can see that we are feathering out the, the level of the clay that it follows the eye muscle on the form so it's not bumpy and it's a smooth a little bit of water makes it smoother and easier to work with Okay, we are uh, coming fairly close to the end of this video as well. This video was only for um, clay work of the muley face. Now, um, another roll of clay I like to put on top of my tear duct because after tucking the skin into the tear duct, that will help me close the tear duct and make it look very full. Okay, this is the end of this video and we'll see you on the next segment.